This is McFly Angler. starts now. For a hook, we will need a long shank saltwater hook like these from Risen Fly. And today I'm tying on size two. Place a hook securely in your vise. For thread, I'm using Vivis 140 power thread in black, but any heavy thread of whatever color you want will do. Start the thread on your hook right behind the hook eye and snip or snap off the waist. Then bring your thread down to the start of the hook bend and back up a couple wraps. So this is not necessary, but I like adding some flash to the tail. I am grabbing two strands of pearl crystal flash. Measure out about two hook shank lengths off the back of the hook bend and tie in the two strands. Then pull the forward facing strands rearward and tie those in as well, and then cut them to the same length. Well, I was zoomed in a little too tight here to show the cut. So here it is so you can see the length. Now we will need some hackle. You can use pretty much any hackle that is wide enough and long enough. And I have a large variety here that could work. So I'm gonna use this grizzly bugger pack from Whiting. This one comes with two sections. This section has feathers that are just too narrow and will not fill out the body enough. But this section, as you can see, has larger feathers. Now it's good to have a hook handy to measure the feathers against. You want the fibers to extend slightly past the hook point when wrapped around the shank, like this. Okay, let's pull off six feathers. For the tail, let's take two of the feathers and line the tips, and also ensure that they are splayed outward from each other like so. Measure these out to about two and a half times the hook shank length, so they'll be slightly longer than the flash. Then strip off the fibers below that measurement and trim off the butt sections of the feather. Tie the feathers in and make sure that the feathers do not rotate on you and stay sideways out the back of the hook like so. Then I like to make a wrap or two under the tail to keep the tail angled straight rather than downward. Now take two more feathers and pull back the fibers from the tip. Cut off the excess of the feather tip in order to leave a small tie-in tag. Then tie in the feather right in front of the tail and advance your thread halfway up the hook shank. To make the next step easier, stroke the fibers up from the stem to make them aligned out perpendicular from the feather stem. Then proceed to wrap the feather around the hook shank with touching wraps until you reach the thread and then capture the feathers with the thread and cut off the waist. Now keep in mind, I am making a very thick hackle here. You could space out the thread wraps a little more if you want a thinner hackle head on this fly and probably just get away with using only two feathers to finish up the fly. Anyway, if you want it more dense like mine, then grab two more feathers and tie it in the same way as the last until you reach the hook eye. And then capture the feathers and trim off the waist. Now stroke the fibers rearward and wrap back up slightly onto the hackle to ensure all the fibers are angled rearward and not over the hook eye. Then whip finish your fly. At this point I like to brush out the hackle to ensure that there are no trapped fibers. And you'll probably realize here that this looks awfully similar to a woolly bugger. And you'd be right. This is basically the saltwater version of a woolly bugger fly. In fact you could tie these with different tails like craft fur, marabou, or whatever you want. Anyway, I like to cement the head with the Solarez Ultra Thin Resin. Paint a little on the whip finish and cure it with your UV light. The resin will secure the whip finish and also give it a really nice finished look. And there we have it, the finished Seducer fly. You can tie these in a number of different colors and different tail styles. If you have fished with this fly before, let me know what your favorite variations are in the comments section. As you all know, I've gotten you all discounts from www.risenfly.com. They manufacture all their own hooks, rods, reels, fly tying tools, and other gear for fly fishing. Not only are the prices at their shop very good already, but like I said, they're offering you 15% off of your first order with them. So go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout for a discount on your entire cart. I want to also thank all of my patrons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel and also get some great perks like early access to my videos, participate in live streams, and even discounts on purchasing flies I tie and sell. Yes, that's right, I do sell flies hand tied by me. If you want to order, you can do so through Patreon for that discount, or just place an order by finding me on Instagram or Facebook. Or if you don't use social media, then you can go to my YouTube homepage, click the About section, and then click View Email Address, 
and email me with your order. I want to also thank all of you who share all my videos and your continued support by hitting the like button and being my subscriber. Thank you for making these videos possible. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.